Well, the ride may have ended before anyone wanted, but what a journey those little walleye have taken us on this past season. Another Central Division title, a record-setting winning streak, and sellout after sellout at the bank tank. Joel Sebastianelli helps put it all into perspective from the road. Three straight Toledo walleye teams have made it to the Western Conference Finals. Seven teams, half in franchise history, have won 45 games or more. In those ways, the highs and the lows, the season is not the exception. It is the norm. But as players left the ice after falling to Kansas City, they were struck not just with the finality of the playoffs, but with the rarity of their hockey family. We all knew in there that we deserved way more than that. I, I love every one of those guys and um, definitely one of the best teams I've ever been on um, inside the locker room and on the ice. It's a resilient group. Um, oh, it sucks. Hate to see it end that way. It has nothing to do with the hockey part. It was how close we were off the ice. And As I said, we're a band of brothers and a family here and we welcomed everybody in like so and, and it's, it's sad to see anybody go but uh, it was a pleasure to play with each and every one of them. And to play for a new coach, Pat Mickish took over with big shoes to fill. 105 points, a division title, and conference final appearance mirrors the debuts and meets the standards set by recent predecessors Dan Watson and Derek Lalonde. I appreciate them making me part of it. Like It's a special group, it's an emotional group right now, but uh, they have a lot to celebrate as well. Day in and day out they showed up, they're a pleasure to work with. Every day they, they love to represent Toledo. It's from the top down, from the coaches down to the equipment staff to anybody. It's just it's one big family in Toledo and it's kind of how we like to do things. No season in Toledo has seen more goals, 40 or points, 93, than the year put forth by Brandon Hawkins. The most valuable player award, also a testament to team. It's not me. I'll never say that it's a it's an individual effort. It's never has been. It's it's a group effort, and and by all means, I think we had the most fun group of one of the most fun groups I've ever played with. Fun guys to play with, and fun fans to play for. They're why Hawk stays year after year, and why it's so hard for everyone to leave for home empty-handed. It's unbelievable seeing the fan base and the support we had, and playing in front of them because that's probably year to date some of the funnest hockey I've gotten to play. You know, we want to win a title as bad as them. It's it's hard to do. It is, um, but we come every day willing to work and give the fans what they want, what they deserve, um, and what this organization deserves. Um, yeah, it's frustrating year in year out. You know, getting so close, but. Uh, you know, it's just um, we, we, we got to learn and, um, you know, and we'll, we'll come back better. Fans will still have one more opportunity to cheer on the walleye in Toledo. There's a year-end celebration scheduled at Hensville Thursday afternoon. But this is it by the ice at Cable Dahmer Arena in Independence, Missouri. Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.